Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you to Marco and the NOAA team for the opportunity to talk about uh, LendInvest this afternoon. <clears throat> so we are a marketplace platform for, for property finance. Uh, as a business, uh, we, we're very much a financial technology business. Uh, we've raised over a billion pounds of equity and debt. Uh, on the equity side of the business, we have investors uh, like Atomico, GP Bullhound, and Tiger out of the US. Uh, and on the debt side, we have uh, banks like Citibank and Nomura uh, that fund us. Uh, we're a high growth business, so we're growing at a pace of sort of 50 to 100% year on year. Uh, we've lent over one and a half billion pounds. Last year, we lent over half a billion alone. Uh, this year, by the end of this financial year, we'll be on our way to being on a run rate to lending over a billion pounds a year. Um, and critically for us, we've been able to do that and be a profitable business. Um, so we've been able to scale at this pace uh, and be profitable for, for the last four years. Now, I'm not telling anyone anything new to uh, tell you that the, the mortgage market is a huge opportunity. Uh, in the UK alone, it's 250 billion pounds a year uh, is lent each and every year. Um, and it's a market that's absolutely dominated by banks. So uh, over 93% of all mortgages in the UK are provided by a bank or a building society. And if you look at the consumer home loan space, that's almost 99% of all mortgages provided by a bank or building society. So because there's not a huge amount of competition in terms of alternative lenders um, and it's dominated by banks, you have a situation where it's a really bad consumer experience. So anyone who's gone through the process of getting a mortgage, particularly here in the UK, uh, won't be surprised to hear you know, it takes over three months on average to get a mortgage. Um, it's an entirely offline process. And it's one that is really ripe uh, for, for disruption. Uh, so our story uh, is, uh, you know, we like to think of ourselves as a startup, but we've been going for 10 years. Uh, we started in the uh, sort of high margin niche area of bridging finance. And as we've scaled our business, uh, we've very much become a technology focused business, technology driven, uh, broadened our product suite uh, and built out a very scalable platform. Um, so on the, uh, if we look at the borrower side of the marketplace, we really have positioned the business as a one stop shop for property entrepreneurs. Um, so these borrowers, are, they are property professionals, um, they transact regularly, so they're a very sticky customer for us. And we provide them with the full complement of products that they need as a borrower. Bridging finance for, for quick um, acquisitions, development finance if it's a, a, a ground up development, um, and buy to let if they're sort of a more long term uh, portfolio investor. And then on the investor side of the marketplace, it's really trying to have as wide a universe of investors as we can bring into the platform. So uh, we have retail investors who invest in a retail bond uh, that we listed on the London Stock Exchange last year. Uh, that's a 500 million pound program. We're 90 million pounds into that. And we'll continue to issue tranches as we need more capital um, through to uh, an online investment platform where sophisticated and high net worth investors can go online um, can self-certify uh, and build their own portfolio of investments in loans um, through to institutional funding lines um, where we do contribute uh, some equity to those lines where it makes sense from a risk um, and economic perspective uh, through to a fund that we manage out of Luxembourg. And what we think is we're building a new type of financial services business. So we've been able to scale our platform, drive down our cost of capital, um, to the point where actually we're now lending, like I say, approaching a run rate of lending a billion pounds a year with less than 200 people in the business. So it's a highly efficient business. Um, and that's because we've been able to build technology from the ground up. We're not a bank, so we don't have the sort of legacy overhang of being a bank with sort of um, outdated people and processes and, and ways of doing things and technology. We've, we're building from scratch and doing it, doing it in a new way. Now, how, how is technology our edge? I mean, I think it, it, the, the reality is it is across the platform and it affects um, all parts of the business. Um, and we'll just dig into that a bit more. So um, on the borrower side, it's an online application process. I mean, I think that's kind of the bare basics of what um, a customer now expects. So with our buy to let product, end to end, that is entirely online. Um, there's calculators and tools so borrowers can get a loan priced 
in real time, um, dynamic pricing based on the risk of the borrower and also of our availability of capital across the platform. Um, we, uh, and then in terms of the, the, the workflows, we're really automating that as much as possible. So we draw from literally hundreds of data sets, many in a very automated way. So we're not automating the decision with regards to underwriting a mortgage, but we are automating the workflow so that a human underwriter can make arguably a more informed decision in a much quicker way. We're also integrating with sort of other third party, you know, best of breed fintech businesses like on Fido, so a borrower can take a selfie, photo of their passport, and that's how they would pass KYC and AML, Stripe for online payments, DocuSign to sign uh, documents online, <coughs> and so on. On the investor side, uh, it's as you would expect, so it's a much more streamlined process for investors to be onboarded. Um, it allows investors to manage their investments online. And what we're building out is a very uh, um, detailed way for institutional investors to be able to monitor the risk of the loans that they invest in. So being able to literally drill down to the underlying cash flows on a loan by loan basis um, to get comfortable with the loans um, that they, they hold. And then what sits in the middle between both the investor and the borrower side is our proprietary loan engine. Um, and this is uh, a platform that we've built which actually optimizes for maximum margin across the availability of capital that we have and loans um, that we are originating. And it does this on an ongoing basis. So daily, we'll be moving loans around uh, to continually drive down our cost of capital to provide cheaper funding ultimately to borrowers um, and also to allow us maximum margin as a business. And we've scaled our capital. So um, as we've built out our capital base, we've brought in different channels of investors. So we're open to a very wide universe of in, um, types of investors uh, through to geographical diversity. So we literally have uh, 10,000 investors um, from all parts of the world um, across all types uh, of investors, from retail investors through to, to some of the largest institutions. And the, the, the sort of the, the platform that we've built, so the, the distribution channels, um, the brand, um, the systems and technology has really allowed us to move into to, and towards the mainstream of the mortgage market in a very fast way. So when we set up the business, we were focused on bridging loans. It took us over four years to lend our first 50 million pounds. Um, when we moved into development finance, it took us less than two years to originate our first 50 million pounds. Um, and then when we moved into buy to let, it took us less than six months. Uh, and so we really believe that the investment we have made in building this platform is starting to pay off as we start to take market share and move towards the mainstream market. And that's exactly what we're doing. So uh, we are very focused on building market share, particularly in the buy to let market at the moment, broadening out our, uh, our capital base but we do have an eye to the home loan market. So we think it is very conceivable that we would be able to provide a loan online within a couple of days uh, across the whole of the market um, here in the UK. Uh, and that, that's the presentation. Here's my email, uh, very accessible. Uh, happy to talk to anyone further if you're interested in hearing more uh, about the business. Thanks, Thanks Marco. So much. Cheers. Appreciate it.